What up YouTube, this is your president, the presidential tourist, back with another exciting drink review, taste test video. I got this pop I picked up, this is called Frost Top, it's, uh, it's premium root beer. I guess they've been around since 1926. Never had this brand, it's caffeine free. It's distributed by CB Beverage Corp, under the authority of trademark owner Frost Top Beverage Inc. out of Columbus, Ohio. Carbonate water, high fructose corn, uh, sweetener, pure cane, sugar, caramel color, natural and artificial flavors, phosphoric acid, and of course, sodium benzonite to preserve freshness. Frost top. Nothing tops it but the foam. We started making this super creamy root beer way back in 1926. Soon, the smooth old fashioned flavor and long lasting. Had became famous all across the heartland. Oh yeah, I'm sure it became really famous. Try it in a frosted mug for a treat that can't be beat. Truly nothing tops it but the foam. Visit us at www.frosttop.com or write us with your comments. We'd love to hear from you. And look how they let me put these two like, I'm not sure what, how well you're going to see it, but they have like these two little figures here. Very 1950s like Right? Of course, the 1950s was a bit before my time, but I have seen old advertisements. Alright. Of course, if this was from the 50s, it would not be in plastic. It would be in a glass bottle. Which you don't see that very often anymore, and I kind of miss it. Now let's try it. Oh, this was... How much was this? Maybe a couple bucks. I actually found it at, a, at a, a place called Rural King. Surprisingly, they had a couple different good sodas there. Some of them I already reviewed. Here it is. Well, not very many bubbles on it, so it doesn't have much of a foamy head. Definitely smell that root beer smell, that uh, vanilla. I think technically, isn't root beer basically just vanilla flavored pop? Moderate amount of bubbles. Definitely sweet. Definitely could use some more carbonate. Um, Mm. I mean, it tastes very good. You get that classic root beer um, flavor. Um, is it the best root beer I ever had? No. I think the um, best root beer I ever had, maybe like, I always like, really like like A&W or Mugs. There's this root beer I used to get when I, when I was a kid when I was up north. You used, to even, you used to just pick it up like at a Walmart or something like that, or a regular supermarket. It came in a bit thicker, bigger glass bottle. And it didn't even have a label on it. It was all etched into the glass. Oh, what was that called? I don't remember now. I haven't seen it for years. Maybe they don't sell them anymore. Maybe they just don't sell it here in Florida. So that's when I was living up north. That was a, definitely a better root beer. But this is good. I don't mind it. It definitely could use a little bit more bubbles, I think. But yeah, I would buy this again. I do like root beer, but I don't know if they sell diet, though. And primarily, um, Papa's one. I usually just get diet now, not regular. Alright. That's good. Uh, like I said, I got it at a real cane. I don't remember the exact amount, how much it was, but maybe a couple bucks, so it wasn't too expensive. I can't guarantee if you go, if you have a real cane near you that you'll find that there, so don't hold me to it. If you don't find it, they might not sell it, but they're out. All right, um, any comments, questions, please let me know. Thank you for watching. Bye, everybody, bye. Okay, on to the next one. Yeah.